Hi guys, I just received a physical eSIM card from CSIM, and of course I'll be giving you an honest review. Actually, last January, I also reviewed a physical eSIM card from Fiber eSIM, and now, we have a new player in the game, CSIM. Let's see how it performs, and if it's worth trying. Before we start, let me quickly explain what an eSIM is for those who might not be familiar with it yet. An eSIM, or embedded SIM, is a small chip built right into newer smartphones. Instead of using a physical SIM card that you insert and remove, the eSIM is already inside your phone. But keep in mind, not all phones have an embedded eSIM yet. It's mostly available on newer models. With an eSIM, you can activate a mobile plan digitally without needing to swap physical SIM cards, which makes it super convenient especially for travelers or people who switch networks often. So guys, this C-SIM is actually similar to the one we reviewed before, the Fiber E-SIM, which also came with a physical SIM card. C-SIM is like the next level of Fiber E-SIM. It keeps the good features from Fiber, but now with better support, especially for iPhone users. With C-SIM, iOS users can now download E-SIMs directly, which is a big improvement. Just take note that C-SIM offers two variants, and we'll talk more about the difference between those two a little later. And don't worry, if you're still using Fiber eSIM card, it still works on all devices. It's just that CSIM is the new version with added features. Now, just a quick reminder, this CSIM physical eSIM card is for phones that don't have built-in eSIM. Most new smartphones today have built-in eSIM, but they're usually found in flagship models or some higher mid-range phones and it still depends on the brand and model. For example, my phone I am using. The Redmi Note 14 5G is a new model from Xiaomi, but it doesn't have a built-in eSIM. So, this CSIM physical eSIM card is perfect for my device. But if your phone already has built-in eSIM, then you don't need to buy this product. Now let's go to what I received. CSIM sent me a sample, and the version they gave me is the X2 version. They actually offer two versions of their product, the X1 and X2. Both work the same way, but the difference is in how many eSIM profiles you can store. The X2 version lets you store up to 15 eSIM profiles, meaning you can use up to 15 different numbers or network providers, whether local or international, all from just this one SIM card. The X1 version, on the other hand, allows only five free eSIM downloads, if you want more than that, you'll need to pay a little extra. So, where to buy additional CSIM downloads? Well, you can purchase directly through the CSIM application. This is part of their pricing strategy. They keep the cost low up front, but offer add-ons for flexibility. But honestly, if you're just using it locally or for travel to one to three countries, five eSIM profiles is already enough. You probably won't need that many mobile numbers anyway. As for the prices, X1 version costs 840 pesos, and X2 version costs 1,600 pesos. Now let's talk about how to install and use the CSIM physical eSIM card. The first thing you need to do is insert the CSIM card into your phone's SIM slot, just like a regular SIM card. Next, if you're using an Android phone, you need to download the CSIM app from the Google Play Store. But if you're not using an Android phone, no worries. You can still manage your eSIM using something called CSIM STK, which is already built into the SIM settings. One thing I liked about the CSIM app is that you don't need to create or log into an account just to use it. The app is ready to use right away. Although, if you want, there's an option to verify your email address, but it's totally up to you. Unlike with the Fiber eSIM app, where logging into your account is required, which can be a bit of a hassle. Now let's add an eSIM to the app. I bought an eSIM from the Smart website and they emailed me the QR code I needed to activate it. Inside the CSIM app, just look for the eSIM icon at the bottom of the screen. Tap that and you'll see the option to scan a QR code. Go ahead and scan the QR code your network provider sent you. After a few seconds, the app will automatically download the network information. Once that's done, you can even edit your eSIM details, like change the name or add which country or network it's from. 
I did that in this video too, just to make it easier to organize. You'll know that the eSIM download was successful because you'll see signal bars on your phone showing that it's now connected. Another cool thing is, you can buy eSIMs directly from the CSIM app. Just search for the country you're visiting using the search bar and you'll see the available promos or eSIM offers for that place. Once you choose a provider, the app will redirect you to their official website so you can complete the purchase there. I just want to remind you that all CSIM cards are blank when you get them. This means they don't have any eSIM or mobile number saved yet. You need to buy an eSIM plan from an eSIM provider and download it into the CSIM card before you can start using it. That's also why there's a section inside the CSIM app where you can browse and purchase eSIMs from different providers, depending on the country or network you need. Once you download and activate the eSIM files on the CSIM card, you can insert it into any compatible phone and it will work like a regular SIM card. Just remember, the CSIM card won't work on locked phones, contract phones, or highly customized phones. And don't forget to download the CSIM app because that's where you'll manage and access the eSIM files stored inside your CSIM card. So here are my final thoughts after using the CSIM physical eSIM card. Honestly, the CSIM app works almost the same as the Fiber eSIM app that we previously reviewed on this channel. But what I really liked about CSIM is that you don't need to create or log into any account just to use the app. You can simply open it and start using it right away, which is really helpful, especially for beginners or those who aren't very techy. As I mentioned earlier, CSIM has two versions of their physical card. The X1 version gives you five free eSIM downloads, while the X2 version gives you unlimited downloads. If you're using the X1 version, and already used all five free eSIM profiles, you can still add new ones by deleting the old ones. To do that, just turn off the profile you want to remove, slide it to the left, and tap delete. After that, you can add a new eSIM profile. But if you find that a bit of a hassle, there's also an option to buy additional downloads through the app. Overall, CSIM and Fiber are very similar, but I appreciate the few improvements CSIM added especially the no login requirement and better support for iOS. In terms of price, CSIM is about 200 pesos more expensive than Fiber. Now the question is, do I recommend CSIM? My answer is yes, especially for people whose phones don't have a built-in eSIM. One big benefit of a physical eSIM card is that it lets you enjoy eSIM features even if your phone doesn't support built-in eSIM. So you don't have to buy a new phone just to use an eSIM. Using a physical eSIM card gives you more flexibility and peace of mind. It's very helpful for people who travel often or don't want the hassle of switching phones and setting up everything again. And that's it for this review. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss our next tech reviews and updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.